Ralph Macchio has had an undeniable career resurgence with his role on Cobra Kai. After reaching the height of his fame in the 80s with his role as Daniel in the original Karate Kid, Macchio would fade into relative obscurity. His big break before the Karate Kid occurred in 1983 when he was cast as one of the leads in Francis Ford Coppola's The Outsiders. He wouldn't reach true stardom until he got the role of Daniel in the Karate Kid, which would turn him from a relatively obscure actor to a bona fide teen heartthrob. With that being said, Macchio was taken before he ever starred in The Karate Kid and has stayed with the same woman ever since. He and his wife, Phyllis, have been married for over 35 years. In a recent interview with The Guardian, talking about his relationship, he says, It does get deeper. There are silent conversations now. There's a shorthand. Marriage is work. A relationship is always working. But having someone to take the journey with be understood by, at the deepest level, the totality of that is special. The Karate Kid would gross $180 million and set Machio up for life. It makes sense that Machio did not have the hunger to chase auditions, seeing as how his first major role was truly the role of a lifetime. He talked about this effect in his Guardian interview, pondering how his lack of drive may have contributed to his lack of roles. He said, maybe I did undercut myself. I'm thinking this through now. This is a new thought. What happens is it's very hard not to become desperate when you want to find work that isn't there. There was a section of time when that was happening to me. That's often when actors go off the deep end or down a dark path. Because it's such a seductive thing, success. Taking risks and being more knee-jerk with decisions and your lifestyle probably creates more opportunities. I get that, but it wasn't me. Machio seemed content with a simple life, collecting residuals from his first big role. Who could blame him? Ultimately, the role of Daniel would come calling for Machio and lure him out of his semi-retirement. From the Karate Kid to Cobra Kai, Ralph Machio's career has been defined by his role as Daniel. With that being said, the actor has recently revealed how he nearly got cast in some of the biggest television shows of the 1990s. Although he's certainly not bitter about how his career has panned out, it's interesting to think of what could have been for the original Karate Kid. While every franchise under the sun has gotten a reboot recently, Netflix's continuation of the Karate Kid franchise is different. Because it is not exactly a reboot, it has allowed fans of the original movie to enjoy some sweet nostalgia while still watching a quality series. Fans of the original franchise have loved getting a deeper look into the mythology of the original films. The show recently received an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Comedy Series. Before Cobra Kai, stars of the show Ralph Macchio and Billy Zabka made memorable appearances on How I Met Your Mother, one of the most popular sitcoms of the 21st century. In the show, they both played themselves. In a classic episode, Barney Stinson, played by Neil Patrick Harris, is immeasurably disappointed by an appearance from Ralph Macchio on his birthday. He reasons that Billy Zabka is the true hero of the Karate Kid. The episode culminates with Zabka making a surprise appearance to save Barney's birthday. This episode's reception from fans may have planted the seeds for what would become Cobra Kai, as it showed that the nostalgia was still strong. Machio is probably thrilled he gets to relive his past for a new generation of fans with his role on Cobra Kai, but he admits things could have gone very differently. He recently had an in-depth interview with The Guardian to promote his new memoir, Waxing On. The title is, of course, a reference to The Karate Kid. In the interview, Machio talked about how he nearly missed the boat on being cast in either Friends or ER. In 1994, when both shows began, the actor had a contract with NBC, the same studio that produced these shows. He ultimately ended up filming several episodes for a show that would never air instead of being chosen for either of the studio's blockbuster successes. Machio said about the situation, I was on an overall deal with the studio that was casting both Friends and ER, and somehow, I wasn't put in either of them. But do you want to know the truth of it? From where I'm sitting now, it was the best thing. The right people get the right parts. To be fair to Machio, it probably was wasn't anything to do with the acting ability that kept him from landing a role on Friends. This is proven by the many other actors who were also passed up after auditioning for the show. John Cryer of Two and a Half Men fame tried and failed to get the role of Chandler. Vince Vaughn, who would go on to star in some of the biggest big screen comedies of the 2000s, was passed up for the role of Joey. Hank Azaria of Simpsons fame would also miss out on the role eventually given to Matt LeBlanc. In the later seasons, Azaria would later get cast on the show as David, from Kathy Griffin to Eric McCormick and Kristen Davis. The list of people who missed out on Friends roles goes on. What all these people, including Machio, have in common is that they all went on to have wildly successful careers after the fact. It seems like things work out as they're meant to, and that the right roles go to the right people, as Machio said. Who's to say if Cobra Kai would have ever happened if Machio became better known for a show like Friends or ER? Fans of the show, including Machio, seem to be perfectly happy with how things worked out. With Machio being one of the most recognizable figures associated with karate, fans have long speculated if he knows much about the techniques behind it. In a recent interview with Wired, Machio opened up about his training for the film and the series. He talked about being trained by a man named Pat E. Johnson, who appeared 
in the film as the referee in Daniel and Johnny Showdown. When asked who trained him, Machio said, that would be a gentleman by the name of Pat E. Johnson. If you've seen the Karate Kid film, he played the referee in the final tournament, and that was Pat Johnson. He taught all of us and trained me in Goju Ryu style, Okinawan classic karate, and Pat Morita as well. He was a big part of creating all of those sequences. Most often, I don't use a stunt double. I try to do all the stuff. Certainly, it was easier back in the day. Yeah, I've hurt myself a few times. You know, I've never broken anything. That's just made the biggest mistake ever saying that out loud. Although the actor certainly isn't a master of art by any means, he is still clearly an active student of the techniques. His quote reveals that he purposely does all his stunts and has been doing them since the franchise's inception. Although he certainly doesn't look it, Machio is 60 years old at this point, which makes doing his stunt work even more impressive. The actor poked fun at himself before Cobra Kai for his young appearance. He claimed the secret to staying so youthful was not working. The actor is committed to putting his all into the role to give fans a believable performance. As the actors and characters grow older, their relationships mature alongside them. Daniel and Johnny have largely set their differences aside, becoming closer in adulthood than in the films. Interestingly enough, Machio and Zatka are likely also closer than ever during the original franchise filming. It is reported that there was an accident on the original film set that saw Zadka knock Machio out cold. This reportedly led to tension between the two actors that were never fully resolved until nearly 40 years later. With the age of most of the film's original actors, it makes sense that some of the new characters will begin to take on more of the stunt work in the show as it progresses. The show has become more popular than ever in its fifth season, which has put up its highest rating so far. Fans can likely expect there to be a sixth season and beyond. The plot line of season five sees Johnny and Daniel teaming up to try and regain control of the Cobra Kai dojo. In past seasons, the gym was taken over by the character Terry Silver, played by Thomas Ian Griffin. Silver framed John Kreese, played by Martin Coe, for attempted murder to gain control of the dojo. Another returning face in the show's new season is Mike Barnes, played by Sean Cannon, who first appeared in the third Karate Kid film as Daniel's main rival. In the show, he will join forces with Johnny and Daniel instead of reprising his role as the antagonist. Are you enjoying the new season of Cobra Kai? What do you think of Machio potentially being cast in Friends or ER? Do you think he would have been a good fit? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.